What? The countdown for Pokemon Day has just officially begun out of nowhere. 4.44 p.m. Pacific time, not even on the hour or anything, and instead of a week to count down, we have an eight-day countdown because of the generations, and there's a little video showing it off. Eight more days, Pokemon Day, we got the Galar fun going on. That spices it up a lot more than the other countdowns and other things we've talked about in the past. What we got? Grookey's excited, Score Bunny's amped up, and Sobble, we'll figure it out eventually. The countdown is on, trainers. Just eight more days until Pokemon Day. How are you planning to celebrate? And this tweet is taking off. We can just kind of sit here and watch all those numbers go up really fast as I remind you guys to leave a like on the video and share it with your friends if you enjoy it. Also, comment your thoughts down below. Uh, we got some, th you know, we just got eyes reacting action but do doing its own thing because that's twitter that just reply guy stuff yeah the replies actually have nothing to do with it but this is where it gets really wild because we're doing the regional countdown and then we're transitioning the week countdown into the regional countdown again i I don't think it's possible. There's like there's like no way they can put all the regions into a Pokemon game unless this is just kind of like a soft way of celebrating some kind of master collection. Like for me, it's always been like 80% Pokemon Sinnoh remakes and then like Pokemon Let's Go Johto 10% or okay, here's how I have it. 80% Diamond and Pearl remakes. 9% Pokemon Let's Go Johto. 9% Master Collection, then like 2% we get Let's Go Sinnoh. But now this has kind of bumped up the numbers, like, are we actually going to get some kind of multi-region Pokemon game, some kind of encompassing Pokemon game? I feel like the cutoff has to be for Kalos, because that's like the separation between 2D and 3D, and you can port over all the 2D. 2D Master Collection just sounds nice, clean, and easy, and I think it kind of goes in line with how all the regions, everything is being celebrated for the 25th anniversary. So, I mean, that, get, that just gets bumped up to like 15% for me right now, maybe 20%, because this is so strange and out of nowhere and we just have to see how the next couple of days go but this goes in line with some of the other articles that we've seen in the past which is like seven regions six new tcg sets five something four elite four people so so stuff like that and the hype is on the, the pokemon day countdown has officially begun just days after the nintendo direct and we are about to have some kind of major announcement very soon let this keep you going and that's really all there is for this update like what, what can you talk about with that however i do want to go over a couple of other things i've been seeing people talk about because we're trying to solve the mysteries we're trying to go through it junichi masuda's tweets are out of control and if you want more on that check out my last video but i saw people saying sky diamond as a thing that Junichi Masuda could be hinting at, and that's just one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. You know, someone's like, oh, there's a rumor for Sky Diamond, maybe this is hinting at that. A rumor doesn't make anything more plausible. If I make something up right here, it doesn't become more real, it doesn't become more plausible, it's all fake. So there's nothing to suggest Sky Diamond off of this. Also, it's just a stupid name that doesn't really make sense, and I don't think it can even legally be done. So I was like, I was like looking up Sky Diamond, I was like, is there something I don't know? Is there something I don't know about a quote-unquote Sky Diamond, that this is actually a popular term or some kind of thing that people refer to? No, it's, it's a business, which means that this probably copyright and can't even get the name for it anyways. Like, we had the Monster in My Pocket controversy w back in the 90s and stuff, and other lawsuits that Pokemon has seen over the years. So, I, I think it actually literally cannot exist outside of just being too stupid to even consider as, as a thought. So that's a thing. And then... This is another part that's going on. Now people's picking up Centro Pokemon leaks and their nonsense and they're getting more attention than ever. And this is incredibly dangerous because Centro Pokemon, they're just straight grifting. They, they just came out and said, oh, we, we confirmed Diamond and Pearl remakes or like some kind of Diamond and Pearl version for the 25th Pokemon anniversary announcement. No, nothing to support it. No actual sources, no credibility. They've posted fake 4chan posts in the past. Like they're like, oh, check out this leak. And then ends up not actually being real at all when official information comes out. So they just kind of do whatever. Yes, they did have early access to the uh, Crown Tundra DLC, but that's something completely different. That's an actual physical leak of the game that you can verify. This has no verification, and then they've been posting multiple things. Also, this, once again, getting a lot of attention, very dangerous. 
Central Pokemon is just hard grifting right now. You won't have to wait until Pokemon Day on 27th for the big news you've been waiting for. See you next week. Nothing to support it. Also, is this trying to say, like, something else? Like, oh, the Direct comes out on 26th, so that's what we meant, and that's what we predicted. Even though you don't need any leak information to come out with that, they're throwing vague... It, like, you, they don't even say Sinnoh remakes. Like, you don't have to wait for the information you've been waiting for. Oh, a picture of Giratina. Something like that. But you won't have to wait until Saturday. Well, that makes sense. I don't think we've even... Like, has Pokemon... Yeah, I don't think, like, Pokemon Day or any, like, major timing lineup has ever forced information on a weekend before. But regardless, yeah, like, that... That's not going to happen, so that's whatever. And then this is a new thing that's been getting picked up recently. We haven't been able to verify the following with our additional source... So just picking up new sources, this is the same as Pixelpar. Pixelpar did the same thing. He just trusted whatever w was going on and was wrong more times than he was right. Because he just kind of took all the in quote-unquote insider nonsense that was going on and then tried to create an archive of sources and ended up being wrong most of the time. Because he wasn't an insider. He didn't have any real information. So no Pokemon collection is planned for this year. Multiple games in one package. Arceus episode. So, this from Central Pokemon is saying that we have no Master Collection, which is kind of weird, because if we get Diamond and Pearl remakes, which is what they've already confirmed for themselves, then, yeah, we aren't going to get a Master Collection, because then there's just too many games. We got Pokemon Unite, New Pokemon Quest, or not, New Pokemon Snap, maybe a Pokemon Quest update. We don't need a Master Collection in the summer to hold us over until a Diamond and Pearl remakes, because that's never happened before. If we have our big game announcement... Summer is usually dry for the Pokemon games, and then that's it. DLC doesn't count, because that was, like, kind of split up, and it wasn't an, a new game. It wasn't a standalone game. So, okay, they're just kind of doubling down on their thing, and that's why I'm calling it Grift. This is, like, the 95% the play. Like, my personal odds are different from probably the true odds, but it's, like, the most likely thing to happen is going to be Diamond Pearl Remix. So, saying you have sources, and you can confirm Diamond and Pearl Remix, if it ha like, they're just making the high value bet. Like, that's all this is. It's a gamble. It's a bet. If it's true, that's why it's dangerous, because now people are going to trust them when they have no credibility, even if they get it right, because congratulations, you got the 99% chance correct. Whatever. Our, and then also, we've seen, like, no punishment. You can see fraud Poketubers that cover every fake thing that happens on the internet and Twitter, Reddit, or 4chan or something. They're wrong 99%, 99.9% .9 of the time, and people still click on their videos. So there's really no risk here. Even if they get it wrong, oh, our sources meant next year. They, they just make up for it. No credibility lost because they had none to begin with. And then this information is not from our main source. So once again, juggling these unproven, untested sources that have nothing to do with anything. We have reasons to think it's reliable. That's just a lie. And we'll have to verify this information in the future. Keep you updated. We receive more information or we can debunk this. There we go. This, that's it. This is what's going on here, and that's the thing. And now they're talking about correctly leaking the direct, but that also is nothing, like because Nintendo directs are that predictable. Also, apparently, it's just the lies that people make up for their own, you know, to justify this for themselves. Didn't they correctly leak this? Yes. Actually, no. They didn't leak it themselves. They just copy pasted what someone on Reddit said. Exactly, because that's what that's what Centro Pokemon does. They post a ton of fake things, and then when the one thing comes right, idiots go and believe them and then go to defend them. But fortunately, there's a, there's a couple people that know what's up, and it's just kind of wacky and stupid. So I'm, I'm, like, I'm like super sad because I'm doing the research. I'm breaking down the history, what this actually means, what to expect, what's going on, and then some idiot says Sky Diamond, or someone goes, but Central Pokemon said this, or some fraud Poketuber covered this fake leak. And it's like, that that doesn't change reality. That doesn't change anything what's going on here. But people still believe it in mass. And now it's spilling over to where people, like, it, it doesn't matter if you promote a fake leak. You don't lose credibility. And it, and people just want to, people just want to be spoon fed their fanfics and what they want to hear. And they're not going to, there's no consequences whatsoever. So that's worse than ever. I didn't think that was possible. I thought there was going to be some pushback, but nah. And now... This is all that matters. This is the official information. You can't trust anything else that's said until this countdown finishes, or seven days, because that's when the 26th happens, and that's when weird stuff ends up going down. Like, maybe that's why they're doing this. They're doing the eight more days. No, because then that's still on the 27th. I feel like we're going to, like, kind of skip a half day or something into Pokemon Day. But that's kind of it. So, yeah. 
You're going to get your information soon. This will all make sense. We have a little bit of fun going on until then. And everything else is a lie. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.